What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We're coming to you live over here from Paul's Pond, West Hempstead, New York. And uh, i got a beautiful blue sky morning. Got all the uh, geese and ducks out over here chilling. They're going for a walk right now. They're going for a stroll. And we got uh, the auxiliary police headquarters over here. We got the sun rising over here. We got traffic all around us. And uh, we got the flag over here. This is a uh, memorial here for Vietnam and Korea. Old Glory flying high. We actually got two Old Glories here, a big Christmas tree. But we are over here at Hall's Pond. A little waterfall over here. Nice little places over here. And we got the, uh, the black bike is back. The beach cruiser. Anyway, all right, everyone. So message of the day, message of the day. I don't know if you guys got to saw, see my uh, podcast last night. Uh, my buddy Max Nast and uh, Benny Montalbano stood in for Sammy Smith because Sammy was busy with other things. And uh, so Benny jumped up to the plate. Benny was our s- first guest on the show. And uh, he uh, actually got to be a guest host, which was kind of fun. So Max... Um, is a drug and alcohol counselor, um, 18 years clean himself, um, been through a lot of stuff in his life, and he shared his story last night, and um, pretty wild, pretty uh, pretty wild story, basically, um, you know, drugs and alcohol really took him out, and he came back, and now he is uh, on top of his game, and he is uh, helping other people, so uh, there was, so I said Joel Osteen in the morning a lot, and yesterday's message was about uh, com- going from patient uh, to physician. And it was about how each one of us have a struggle, basically, that we need the doctor for. You know, we need something to help someone, something to help us get better. And then once we learn from that, once we get better from that situation, it's up to us to become the doctor for the next person uh, in a roundabout way. So everything that we go through in our lives, we need to uh, share that lesson with those around us and help them get through what they're going through. It's just a process. We just keep handing it down. Um, And then Joel this morning was that uh, we need to realize that we are someone's blessing. We are someone's blessing. So someone in the world needs to hear your message. Someone in the world um, needs the doctor, needs what you've learned, needs your help. Um, Someone out there um, is being inspired by watching you and what you're doing. And you need to realize this. And that's what we talk about. We need to represent what winning looks like every day of our lives. Everything we do in our lives must be, um, something that represents winning and leading by example and, uh, overcoming our struggles and just being the best person we can be and intentionally reaching out and helping those around us, intentionally reaching out and blessing those around us. Um, as simple as holding a door for someone, simple as, saying good morning, uh, all the way up to helping someone out financially, all the way up to, uh, you know, maybe helping watch someone's kids if uh, they're struggling and they need to get to work and they don't want to watch their kids. Uh, Maybe it's taking someone to the doctor that, um, you know, can't drive or something like that. Um, Maybe it's, uh, you know, making some donations to a local shelter or food pantry. Whatever you can do in life to bless those around you. If you're blessed, you need to share that blessing with everybody around you um the way the world works so as we grow we need to give back to help those behind us and help them grow and they need to give back and it's a cycle that keeps on going keeps on going and we need to recognize this and we need to keep giving and keep uh, being aware and be that blessing to people around us um each one of us have such an important message max um i'm sure 18 years ago when he was high and drunk and all the stuff he had going on in his life I seriously doubt it. He thought 18 years later he'd be the one uh, counseling people on how not to be like that. And it just shows you uh, the power of faith and the power of believing in yourself and the power of gratitude. Um, it all comes back to being grateful. If we're not grateful for what we have, how could we expect to get more? Um, really think about that. If you're not grateful for everything in your life, the good and the bad, how could you expect to have more? Uh, money multiplies what you already are. So if you're not grateful, um, what do you think more money is going to do? You're never going to be grateful. 
Uh, what do you think more success is going to do? We're never going to be grateful. So we need to be grateful for where we are in life. We need to be grateful for the bad stuff that pushes us into the good stuff. If we didn't have bad stuff in our life, we didn't have rainy days, we wouldn't appreciate sunny days like this. So we need to be grateful for everything in our lives. And uh, just keep being a blessing to those around us. Go out of our way to help other people around us. Go out of our way to make people smile. And that's what's going to make the world a better place. All right, everyone. So there's your message here today. Uh, be a blessing. Um, be Go from being a patient to being a physician. Whatever you've learned in life, share it. Whatever life has taught you, good and bad, share it. Help those around you. All right, let's jump on prayers. We'll watch the ducks over here while we pray. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to be grateful for everything you do in our lives. Help us to understand uh, each lesson in our lives and how we're supposed to share that blessing with those around us. Uh, help us to be confident. Help us to be faithful. And help us to represent what winning looks like every day. Yeah. Amen. All right. So it's Tuesday. It's sunny. It's uh, a little over 40 degrees. There's tons of ducks and geese floating around over here. Falls Pond, West Hempstead, New York. And uh, we're going to get on with the ride. Got to get home, get to work. It's burning daylight over here. So we are day 197 of the journey of 365. Um, it's going, it's going. So, and we are uh, almost done with phase two of 75 hard. I've been doing that second workout at night. Um, definitely feeling the burn from that. Uh, I believe I got eight days left on the 75 hard 30 day phase two journey. And that's something that uh, if you're struggling in your life, look up 75 hard, just Google it. Look at the program. It's something that'll uh, give you a nice reset. Uh, no drinking, uh, stay on a diet. Um, and two 45 minute workouts a day. One has to be outside. Uh, read 10 pages of a book. And what else we got to do? You got to uh, take a picture of yourself every day. And you got to drink a gallon of water every day. It's, uh, it's a great challenge. If you're looking for something to reset your focus in your life, uh, break that drinking habit, um, break that eating habit, uh, 75 hour, check it out. It's really a, a life changing experience. Anyone has done it. And stuck with it and did it legit and didn't cheat themselves. Um, it's life changing. So anyway, all right, everyone, have a great Tuesday. We will see you tomorrow morning. Appreciate all you that are reaching out. Anything you guys need, I'm happy to help. We're all on this journey together. Help me be a blessing to you. All right, everyone, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Go start some fires and inspire people around you. Take care.